Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. Those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy to have you join us. I'm going to kick off the um, reading, activate it with um, the Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle deck. Um, for those of you in the States, happy Independence Day, happy July 4th. I think I missed Canada Day. July 1st, I believe, right? So my apologies. Happy Canada, belated Happy Canada Day to our Canadian subscribers. Here we go. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Card 35. Trust the guidance you're receiving. Archangel Uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. I am also present to clear away your worries so you can trust your divine guidance. These messages, if I think I said it's the Archangel Michael sort of light but he's um summoning archangel uriel a brilliant epiphany there is the sword right and it feels very ace of swords like an aha you know Ooh, seeing something very clearly let's see what comes through in your reading whoop it has been a day already i'm <laughs> just saying <laughs> kitten problems Yeah, okay. Tomorrow is the new moon um, on July 5th. It'll be probably the 6th for some of you, but here in the States, about 7 p.m. Eastern time, uh, we will have the new moon in Cancer, so I'll be uploading a reading about that tomorrow on the 5th. So check that out. Here is your message, your overall energy ace of wands we're opening with that present energy and the challenge is around um igniting some passion with regard to com commitment so there's a challenge around something that you know feels more committed maybe beliefs there could be some differences in beliefs around that yes you are focused here in your unconscious awareness on life partnership, on building a life, on building a future, ace of wands in the past, in your conscious awareness. Yes, now, I also did the July 2024 monthly Love Tarot energy update, and this card was the energy, overall energy for the month. So Venus is in the lead here. She just moved into the sign of Leo. Venus is pretty happy on Leo, um, but it is about sort of, right grabbing that gift of inspired passion and running with it and what it feels like you're open to and running for is something more committed with your beloved Oof, near future we have ten of swords energy so let's see what we get from the clarifiers ace of wands higher fan You're almost getting a message here of not that you're um, not that you're barking up the wrong tree necessarily with regard to something or some kind of a more con, you know conventional committed relationship here, um, but that you're being given some time and space for a reason. Yeah, trust the guidance you're receiving. Feels perfect. Here, here you've got the hanged man. So the hanged man is kind of coming in as, um, as like a, 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 an opportunity to sort of pull yourself out of the situation and look at it from the 30,000 foot view. This is you in that nine of pentacles, independent, autonomous, do, you know, you got life by the cojones and you're doing fine, but you're interested and desirous of something more committed in terms of life partnership. But there's some info you don't have that you need. And so the um, hanged man is sort of like a blessing. It's, it's a form of the guidance you're receiving, which says there's more to this than meets the eye. So you wanna look at it from a couple different angles. Let's go ahead with the 10 of pentacles in your unconscious awareness. Two 
two of pentacles, death card, six of cups. You don't know what you're really dealing with here. I do think you, and when I say that, I mean, I feel like you know that you've got some sort of a special sacred connection with this person, possibly past life soulmate energy, twin flame, whatever you want to label it, but you're not sure. Like, is this, is this the one? Is this supposed to go the distance? And with the death card, it suggests that you're not sure if this is something that is maybe temporary that is going to kind of die a natural death or whether there's an opportunity for something to change. The two of pentacles can also stall for time. So because I see the hanged man, there's for some of you, it's a general reading, not a private reading. For some of you, that two of pentacles is sort of like, I'm going to, I'm in wait and see mode, both from the perspective of the hanged man and also from the two of pentacles for what is about to reveal itself let's go to the queen of wands in the past queen of cups love and passion king of pentacles king of cups wow there are <laughs> feels like there's a lot of people here um the court cards don't always have to be people sometimes there's there are they're just energies but since we're talking about a committed connection, Hierophant and Ten of Pentacles, that King of Pentacles seems to be what you're more focused on. Um, but King of Cups, Queen of Cups, there's like an emotional disconnect on some level. Sometimes the King of Cups doesn't express feelings. Sometimes the King of Cups, not for the lack of feeling things, um, sort of doesn't offer a lot of emotional availability. And so with the queen, uh, the two queens here staring each other down, you know, what's going to win out here? Love or passion? And when I say that, what I'm trying to say is there might need to be a choice. And when I say love or passion, obviously we want both in a committed connection, but sometimes the passion part is a little bit more physical, um, less emotionally connected. And that may be what you're trying to size up right now. Are we going to get beyond the physical? Are we going to get beyond, you know, the chemistry to something a little bit deeper on an emotional level? And that's what I think you don't know. And that's what I think you're being guided to wait, you know, like be open. Don't, don't jump to conclusions. Trust the guidance that you're receiving on this. So let's see the Empress in your conscious awareness. I'm going to pull for the Ten of Swords first and then give it all to you. Yeah. So, because I'm reading off of your energies, for those of you who are in that frame of I'm not sure this is going anywhere. You are who I'm reading for. Okay. For those of you who already know on some level, you're doing fine in your life. You have this connection, which is feeling very um, enticing, invigorating, passionate, um, dramatic even. You're not sure that it's meant to go the distance. That's what you're weighing out. Or is it just, yeah, is it just going to kind of fizzle out? Because in your conscious awareness, we have the Empress with Tower, Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles underneath. There's no real give and take here. It's feeling pretty one-sided to you that has come through in other re readings that I've done recently, especially Aries that I just did. This is Mars, which rules Aries. So Queen of Wands rules Aries. So if you have an Aries Taurus dynamic, make sure you watch that reading. But I'm feeling like you're coming to terms with like, maybe this isn't my happily ever after here because I'm not getting anything back from what I put into it. And so on some level that makes it unsustainable. So I'm not necessarily seeing a tower moment other than for those of you who didn't see it coming. 
right? For those of you who are like, yeah, this has been playing out for a while. Um, I've seen the writing on the wall and I'm just in those final moments of trying to ascertain what I'm really dealing with here. Whole different animal. For some of you, this is coming out of the blue and there may be a painful ending on the horizon. For others of you, it's like, yeah, this isn't working for me. Somebody who's cold, distant, aloof, who isn't emotional, doesn't communicate their feelings, it's not working for me. So the Ten of Swords doesn't necessarily mean a painful ending for you. It just means something comes to an abrupt ending. Yeah, painful or otherwise. For some of you, Tower Ten of Swords, painful. But because we already have the death card in your unconscious awareness, I'm getting a sense that uh, the vast majority of you already have it kind of, it's not settled in your bones that this is a good thing. And it's been a challenge from the start. So that's what I have for now. I'm going to give you the astrology that showed up. And in the extended, I'm going to pull the two of you together. That way I kind of like right now I'm looking in a very broad sense in the extended, the two of you, your strengths, your challenges, your opportunities, a message from this person, you know, what do they really want you to know? What are they picking up from you at 5D? Um, I'll get a, I'll get some guidance from spirit so you can see the guidance from all of this that comes through hidden energies, what this person doesn't want you to know or see, and then how might things unfold going forward. So if this is speaking to you, that extended is meant for you. The links are below. You will now see you have a choice one, two, or three. So I separated them since some people have been confused about the extended offerings. Number two is just for this reading. Number one is a membership for the sign of Taurus. And then number three is the all access to everything I put up on the channel. Okay. So um, that also being said, I did mention that I have a private reading special for Lionsgate. There is a link below. You've got to scroll a little bit to get to it. $88 off my regular rate. And it's all dedicated to the Lionsgate portal which is very powerful energy, especially for twin flame soulmate connections for manifestation and ascension. So check that out. And then I want to thank those of you who have been so supportive over the past month of June. I put out the call to help me get visibility because there have been changes in the algorithms, changes to, you know, sometimes the platforms, they update, they shift their focus. And those of us that are just kind of plodding along and growing more slowly and not making them a crap ton of money, we get lost in the shuffle. So I thank you for those of you who are continuing to support me by watching the readings, liking, sharing, commenting. Um, it means more than I can say, really, without crying. So from my heart. Thank you very much. Okay, here is our astrology. The Hierophant is Taurus. Well, who knew? Virgo in our nine of pentacles. Hanged man is Neptune, which rules Pisces. We've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in our page of source. The death card is Scorpio, by the way. So is the king of cups. King of pentacles is Taurus. Um, queen of cups is Cancerian energy. Queen of wands is Aries. Like I said, looks like there might be a few people here. So for those of you with any third party scenarios, dealing with somebody who may already be committed elsewhere, that could be part of the, you know, the decision making process for how you proceed. Empress is Venus, Taurus and Libra, a lot of Taurus energy here. Mars in the tower, which rules Aries. King of Swords, Aquarian energy here, and we close out with our Empress again, which is Venus, Taurus, and Libra. So that's what I have. I'm headed to the extended now. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you there in a second.